the best and worst of times. The elections, thank goodness, are over, and a vast sigh of relief has engulfed millions that the man of their choice has prevailed, and perhaps more importantly, the man they opposed, the man they feared, lost. As several days have passed, new questions arise, which beg answers. If you feel you've won, what have you won? How does your victory transform your life? Are you freer? Are any in your family freer? Is your community in any way bettered by election results? These aren't mere rhetorical questions, but things to ponder. Are you better? These aren't questions that politicians particularly want to either ask or answer, but they're there, and they beg answer. For most people, vote for something, something concrete. They don't vote just to feel good because their guy won. The most loyal, most dedicated sector of the Democratic electorate has been black Americans. And aside from symbolism, what have they received? Why are black lives so short, so brutish, so truncated? That's because millions of black Americans who work at some of the worst jobs available when they can get them, whose children attend the worst performing schools, who live in some of the most wretched housing in America, who suffer the lion's share of police violence, seem to be content with the power of symbols, dark faces in high office. May we someday demand more. From Imprisoned Nation, this is Mumia Abu Jamal. These commentaries are recorded by Noel Hanrahan of Prison Radio.